Hey guys, Anthony Irvin here again. We're going to go over troubleshooting the cap tube. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a jug of nitrogen. The nitrogen is going to need a regulator on it. Oh, Got to be careful there. There's a lot of pressure in the nitrogen bottle. If we don't have a regulator to help regulate that pressure, we can cause a potentially dangerous situation. Uh, we're going to have our gauges as well. Our gauges are already hooked up to our access points on the BEV unit. Something went wrong with this unit and we pulled out all the charge, we have to make sure that the metering device, which is the capillary tube, is working properly. Capillary tube is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our gauges, we're going to make sure that they're both closed, the high side and the low side, and we're going to connect to the regulator on the nitrogen bottom. We're then going to turn on our nitrogen, and what we're going to do is, both sides are already closed, there's no refrigerant in here, the pressures are at zero, we're going to force some nitrogen in there through the high side. It's going to go through the metering device to the low side and that's going to tell us that our cap side is our cap tube is working. So once again we're going to pressurize our high side. If our suction rises it's good to go. If the suction does not rise, that cap tube is clogged and we need to replace it. Remember the pressure will never go through the compressor. If you put a compressor like a check valve it will only go one way unless the compressor is shot. So if you have any more problems with this, please give your ASM or your FSM a call. Thanks, guys.